here today to bring you one of my favorite games that I grew up with, Star Fox for Super Nintendo. Fantastic game, full of surprises around every corner. I guess not so much uh, surprises once you've been playing it, as long as I have, which is probably almost 20 years? Wow, 20 years. Can't believe that's been 20 years. Okay, so there's a good look at the intro with the groundbreaking graphics for 1993, and we're about to get shot. Take cover! No, I'm just joking. And here we are at the title screen. Let's just get to it. I'm usually good with staying with Control A, down to go up and up to go down. It's a bit backwards, but you know it's uh, it's the way uh, pilots fly in real life. So, all right, here we go, Corneria. Star Fox Team, our last resort is to counterattack Venom. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Love that. Scramble, 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 get out of there, get out of there, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I was always trying to figure out what that guy was saying uh, when I was a kid. I don't know why, I just, I can't understand if anyone else can understand. Good on you. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, the epic music. We're ready for flying. All right, enough of that. I won't do that every time. You're probably thinking, thank God. So Slippy's gonna show you a trick here. You go through all these uh, arches, you'll get some twin blasters going on, which is awesome. Right, yeah, twin blasters, everyone loves twin blasters. Ouch, I look toasty on the wing. Alright, now you're feeling like you're on top of the world. You go around, you shoot stuff. Miss that ring, of course. I miss a lot of rings, that seems to happen to me a lot. Shoot them towers, and you know, I always wondered, are there like innocent people in those towers? I bet there are. And those guys, who knows what they're doing. <laughs> Once again, a little toasty on the wings. Oh, almost shot down Peppy's prey there. You're not getting away. Let's smash him. And you gotta leave that guy up there in the corner too because Peppy will want him. Let's take care of that. Grab that bomb. I'm sorry, I'll stop with the stupid noises now. <laughs> really stupid noises. Remember when I was a kid, I was so bad at this game. Really, I was. I'd smash into everything. But I like doing barrel rolls just for you guys, because do a barrel roll and all that. Now, if you go back here, whoa, watch out, um, isn't there a bomb? You'll need those later on. I don't, I tend not to use them in the first route too much, only a, maybe a couple of times. Shoot that guy, yeah, get out of there. Watch these guys. Now, what I do is I like to hug the top of this screen here. That way they can't get you, and you can shoot those guys. Yeah, smooth. And now someone's gonna be in trouble. Oh, it's Peppy. Peppy's getting revenge sought after. And there's the halfway point. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, uh. Um. I'm still playing. That's really, really choppy. Sorry. Anyway, shoot that guy. He's gonna drop more of those bomb laying things. Or the, uh. Oh, again. Stop it! Stop that now. Hopefully it's uh, good the rest of the time. What? What? I'm sorry guys, my capture device is really being stupid. Me and my friend used to do that when we were little. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if this is played, if he's played this any time in the present, I bet not, because I had this game, no one else did. Alright, yeah, sorry, you just go and uh, you shoot all the colorful places, really easy, watch out for the missiles, and watch out for the glowing balls of death, you can barrel roll those to deflect them, and he's dead. Deader than dead. Goodbye. See you on Route 2. Do some celebratory barrel rolls as we go into the next level, which is the asteroids. 
and everybody's good. Should have a clear 100%. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, come on. <laughs> of course. All right, into the asteroid belt. Sorry, I just had to go away for a second. I'm back now, and we'll be going in just now. <laughs> I just wanted to wait for that. <laughs> All right, asteroid belt. Andros's forces intend to build a base in this area. Destroy their rock crusher. Thanks, General Pepper. I will need it. So I'll go into cockpit view, because this is the way the level wants you to play it. I tend not to go into cockpit view very much, but I'll just kind of keep it as uh, raw as I can. Possibly in the uh, later levels when I'll have to dodge things on Route 2 and Route 3, I'll have to go into, uh, you know, uh, third person or whatever it's called. I'm not, I'm not familiar with the terms. And if you shoot that guy in the head, he'll just kind of disappear and you'll get a life ring with that. I don't know if they're called life rings, I just call them that. Oh, crow help me! Or Slippy. There you go, man. Don't croak on me yet. And you can shoot those orange asteroids. I I just like to do it. Oh, I missed that guy. Alright. Missed that ring too. And those guys just appear out of nowhere and they'll disappear if you don't shoot them fast enough. So here we are, going into a bit of a asteroid frenzied area. Man, this trial this uh gave me so much trouble when I was a kid too. Just this one part. Now, I'm sorry if I'm rambling about how much, you know, I was a kid at one point, but this was my first Super Nintendo game, and I, it's really nostalgic for me. Fly through these three uh, asteroids and get your other set of twin blasters. Oh, I almost missed that. Oh, boy. Okay, lots going on. Oh, shush. When you shoot the middle of those, I think there's a secret to be had if you do it in some sort of specific order, but... Uh, I'm just focused on getting through the levels and showing you guys the, uh, the routes to go to, so I'm not too concerned about showing you. There's it's a place where you can go into a crazy world and battle a giant slot machine. There's also a place where you can go... One of the levels, I think it's in uh, Section 2. Slippy's in trouble. Again. Oh, you're welcome. Anyway, you can go into that one part. Out of the way, Slippy. And uh, here's a here's a, a part that you could do. You can blast those big asteroids and then go into that to the place with the, with the slot machine. But anyway, like I was saying, sorry, I'm rambling. Uh, you can go into another part and battle battle something and you get a giant whale to give you power ups and stuff. And that's in the space ocean level. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I better pay attention to what I'm doing. Alright, blast those colorful parts. It's gonna turn around, but I bet it's not gonna open. Oh, it did. I can't believe it. Then you just shoot the middle. I stay in the... <laughs> Didn't help me there, but I usually stay in the middle and uh, barrel roll to avoid the danger. And that's asteroids. That's the asteroid belt. We're moving smartly along. I wonder if I'll get 100 now. I shouldn't, because I'm hurt. But, you know, who knows? I'm worse. I, I, uh, I'm worse about Star Fox scores than... Yes! 100. <laughs> than I was in school. Yay, an extra credit, too. You know, if I got bad marks in school, I was like, ah, uh, you know, that's just because I'm bad at school, but I, I consider myself to be pretty good at this game, so I really feel bad if I get bad marks now. Alright, to the Space Armada. My game screwed up there, sorry. Now, kind of like Star Wars. The Andras Space Armada. The Space Armada consists of powerful battleships. Destroy their energy cores. Thanks, Good General bye. Pepper. This always kind of reminded me of that uh, scene on Return of the Jedi when they're all in space, you know, and 
half of them are on the moon of Endor, and then half, um, I mean, then Luke is in the Death Star of the Emperor and Darth Vader, and the guys are out in space doing their thing. This is what that level reminds me of, the guys in space doing their thing, and I'm sure that's probably where they got it from. But, you know, who knows? Not I. Shoot this thing, all three sides, you get a free life. Just like that. And shoot these ships down if you can. Don't run into them, because that's kind of a death sentence. I've done that a thousand times. Oh! oh. Eyes forward, Fox. That's what they mean by that. I wonder if he's going to talk to me about that. Sometimes he'll say, Eyes forward, Fox. That Falco, that is. Alright, die. Oh, be careful, Fox. <laughs> Thanks, Peppy. Sometimes Falco will come on and say, Eyes forward. Anyway. Yes, Slippy, we should go in. After all, that was kind of the, uh, that was kind of the deal. Destroy the cores. Now, it seems like the frame rate seems pretty consistent in this part. Seems to drop a lot, and that's one of this game's downfalls, but I think the game kind of, um, kind of allows for that, you know. It's kind of built around the frame rate. So, that's why the overclocked version is so difficult. And that's one of the cores destroyed. I always like to make a game like, how long can I keep my shield? There you go, Falco, even though you hate me. <laughs> that used to bug me so much, I don't know why. Falco's okay, I suppose. I Get out of the way, he's not okay when he keeps hanging around my line of fire. So I'm gonna try and keep my shield as long as I can. Sometimes you can keep it right to the end of the game if you're good enough, so... Through the ring, destroy these portals. Oh, that almost hit me. Alright, upcoming is the next core that we have to take out. Should we go in? See, Peppy's got the right idea. Peppy knows what to do. Yes, alright, we're in. I've got to open the doors. Go up, go down. And here's a part that I like to do. They, they want you to use your brakes here, but if you just hug the ground, you'll never hit that thing. You'll never hit it, I promise. I've been doing it for years. Get that bomb if you feel like it. Shoot those guys. Get that ring if you need it. I like to barrel roll in here just because it's tight. Tight quarters. And I'm a, I'm a showboat. Ah! That always makes me nervous. I always think I'm going to hit it. Then I'm like, am I going to destroy that in time? But it always does. <laughs> okay, so out here are some fat ships that I like to shoot at. I don't know, I just like shooting those things. It's so satisfying. And there's three more you gotta take down. <laughs> it's so much fun to shoot those things. Then they go down, and they're so fat. They're kinda cute. I don't know. I know I'm weird, I just call this spaceship and Star Fox cute. <laughs> Imagine being the pilot for one of those. That guy's already going down. <laughs> just go down so slowly, so slowly. Those three guys are kind of a pain in the butt. But they'll shoot your, their onion rings at you. Probably the same thing they use in Metroid. And I've never gotten hit by this ship. It shoots lasers at you. Oh, I think I just got hit there. But in the past, I've never gotten hit by this ship. Never. So I think the lasers are mostly for show. All right, in here... There's something you can shoot those to change the direction, but I don't bother. You need to go up anyway. Go up, go down. Up again. Down again. Up again. Sorry, I'm... I'll stop that now. <laughs> oh, and then in between. Can he make it? Can he make it? Yes, good man. Down. And watch out! There's another thing. And there's guys behind this door, so blast them away. Don't leave hope. Oh, oh. Don't leave any behind. Gotta straighten myself out. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just go to the side. And now, takes you into automatic pilot, and this is so cool. My cousin used to say, look at me, look at my skills. Oh, look at what I can do. And I already knew that it was on automatic pilot, so he couldn't fool me. Oh, good try, Adam. And you take out this giant candy cane thing, that's what I used to call it. 
talking about shooting those things can be a pain sometimes because the hit detection's a bit off. Aw, oh, there goes my shield. Dash it all. Didn't keep it for very long. I thought I'd be able to keep it for longer. I think the longest I've ever kept it was up until the Venom boss, right before Andros. All right, he made it out. It's a nail-biting situation. And everyone's fine because no one ever gets in the line of danger. It's always on my shoulders to save them. Rarely do they help out. But I love them all anyway. My score, my score, my score! Aww. Oh well. If this were anything else, I'd be like, yeah, 96, that's really good. Alright, off to the meteor. This level has some pretty good music, I love it. The battle base meteor. Be sure to use your retros, which means brakes, if you're going too fast. Be careful with my R wings. Thanks, General Pepper. Yeah, and there's these two legged guys, kind of remind me of maybe what they were going for were AT STs, I think that's what they're called, the two legged ones, and AT ATs were the fours in Star Wars. Maybe someone could uh, tell me that, I can't remember. Croak, help me! Why is it always you that's in trouble? <laughs> Just there to save. Alright, there's these sticks you gotta watch out for. You can grab some goodies, and I'm really, I'm really almost getting toast here. Whoa, I was close. And after there's this big rock that just appears out of nowhere. And I believe up ahead in the sky over there, that white blob is venom. I think. That could be something else. But I always assumed it was venom, considering venom's the next one. Oh wait, no, venom is right there in a, on the horizon. Okay. Shoot down those raffle copters if you can hit them. Sometimes they're hard to hit. Don't you love the music in this level? All right, there's another uh, free life. But you kind of the game wants you to either take the free life or save your friend. If you're skilled, you can do both. So you just go around, dodge your nose. Oh, watch out for the helicopter thing there. I don't know how a helicopter can fly in space. I assume there's no oxygen here. Air, I mean, you know, oxygen air, same thing. And I think coming up is some uh, big, yeah, there's a big garage coming up here, and that's your halfway point. Let's let me do his thing. The trick is to shoot it at the very last minute, kind of. There's a guy up there that's uh, that Slippy's gonna take care of too. So you just uh, shoot the guy down there. Thought he was over earlier, so I got out of the way. But it's, there's more. Some helicopters over there. There's gonna be another set of garages right here. Always take the one on the left. The one on the right has nothing behind it. Ow! A little too late there. Save Slippy for the umpteenth time. Millionth. Trying to use big words, you know, quadrillion. At least the quadrillion time. And over to the left, because the insect is coming. This thing is hilarious. How anyone can be threatened by something like this. It looks like that thing from Wild Wild West. You know, the big spider robot thing. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna shoot these, uh, balls of death at you. You gotta take care of uh, where it's at in the sky or on the ground and dodge it accordingly. Shoot it again until it falls. Shouldn't take long. It usually doesn't the second time around. And its legs turn red. That's your chance to blow them off. And once that thing is uh, blown off, you shoot the body and call it a night. Ouch. It's also going to start shooting fire at me soon. Any second. Yeah, there it is. Now it'll do that in two directions. Don't do what I just did. Alright, so all the legs are off. Now we can focus on just shooting down. Alright, I love shooting it just before its fire comes out. Celebratory barrel rolls all around. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Speaking of which, the barrel rolls are a bit tricky to pull off in this one. I don't know if it's because of the frame rate or what, but it just seems like they're a little stiff. 
in Star Fox 64, they fixed that, so I was happy. 100, somehow. Not that I'm complaining, but I was hurt, so I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know how the score works in this. All right, on to Venom. On to Venom. First the skies of Venom, and then Venom itself. Venom, the final goal. Andros is hiding on Venom. Fox, you must find his core brain and destroy it. Good Thanks, luck. General Pepper. All right, secret to this level, stay in cockpit view and shoot everything. Never stop firing. Like, I can't stress that enough. Save you guys. Fortunately, your lasers don't hurt them in this game. Because, you know, they never get out of your way at the best of times when they're around. They shoot their lasers, like, off to the side, but they never hit anything, so I guess it's it's kind of like they've got to make it look like they're busy. I used to have a job where it was like, well, look busy. Look busy. Oh, oh, look, look. That's a little guy in there. That's the pilot. I feel really bad for him, though. <laughs> That's hilarious. Those big uh, X things that I'm shooting here. Lots of the time, they'll drop a little pilot, so I, I like to press pause and just look at them. But they look so scared. Now, I don't know if it's because you blast them out of their ships, or if they uh, bomb that thing. Get another bomb. Now, I don't know if it's because, you know, you, you blast them and they get blasted right out of their ships, or you just, um, oh my goodness, let me... Or they maybe eject themselves, but I don't know. I never knew. I just assumed that they got blasted out, and now they're in cold space, gonna float on forever. Which, you know, sucks to be them. That's what they get for being bad. That's what they get. They were never taught. Alright, so I'm just blathering on. I'm sorry about that. No, oh, Falco's in trouble for once. Yeah, and he's never, never all that, all that, uh, grateful, is he? I think he's gotten a bit more, uh, grateful as the year's gone on. I don't know. It seems like he was really, really terrible in this game. And even more terrible in a 64 game. Alright, so here's Fantron. You just shoot him. First stage, you just keep shooting, shooting, shooting. He'll twirl, 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 and he'll split into three. You gotta find the one. Oh, just found him. You gotta find the one that's not a ghost and shoot it. Well, that's it. When I was a kid, I couldn't believe there was another level after this. I thought that was Andros. Damn it, damn supposed to think. <laughs> so, no level, no other level, you know, split into two halves. All right. Yeah, for some reason, I usually get 100 on this one. Maybe it's because I'm trigger crazy. And here we go on stage six, the final stage on route one, which this is easy mode. So going to be doing route two and route three for you guys as well. So stay tuned. Shoot those. Switch directions. And I hope you guys are liking this. I'm not very... Uh, not very used to doing these things. I don't do them very often, but no, I hope I hope it's uh, hope it's entertaining for you. This is my favorite game for the Super Nintendo, so I'm having a really blast. I'm having a real blast playing this. So okay, enough of that rambling. Change. Oh, okay, well whatever. Change that one. Grab the bomb, even though I'm full stock. Change that one. Change that guy. Definitely change that guy. Definitely change that guy. If they're on the sides, you want to change them. If they're in the middle, pick a side. Unless there's something to grab on the side that it's going to open on. Then shoot it. So I wonder who's been chased the most on my trip. Well, I guess we already know that one. Yeah, see that? You can deflect those things didn't know that when I was a kid, of course. So, always happy to found that out. Well, cutting it close. Alright. So here's some more buildings. Makes me think there's probably just guys in offices there, you know, trying to scratch out a day. Not their fault, Andros is such a dork. <laughs> but then their buildings start flying, so I, I don't even know if they're buildings or pillars or 
uh, cheese sticks. I don't know. I just don't know. All right, there's your halfway ring. And these things you can't even uh, destroy, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Try and be fancy for you guys. There's some twin blasters, too, again, if you need them. I don't, fortunately, so... After these sets of buildings here, we're gonna see our old friend Fantron. He'll be down here, waiting for us. And there he is. Okay, first half is the same as the second half of the first time we fought him. Already found his uh, real guy, so... There you go. Oh. But things are different. This game is so cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. And there he is. Now we get to fight his real form. So, Fantron, you show your true form. Remember when Fox, you know, fought the giant Andros brain? I don't know how that could be a true form of Andros. That was really weird. But anyway, it's never really explained why Andros is a giant head. And he'll jump at you. This boss was really cool. When I was a kid, I remember just laughing at him. I mean, my friend thought he looked like a giant bird. Leaping around and he sounded like a bird. <laughs> Alright, so he's there. The real one. And sometimes, you know, his missiles will give you health, so that's always a, that's always a plus if you're having trouble with them. Just focus on dodging them and uh, shoot down his missiles as much as you can. You should probably heal up pretty soon. Yeah, don't do not do that. Which is to say, get shot by lasers. And he's going to throw his fist at us. Let's try and kill him before. Oh, no. Just after. But still. That, that's a fun fight. That's one of my favorite fights in the whole game. And here we are. Andros is there. I'll go alone from here. I'll take this one alone. Fox! Not that you guys ever helped me anyway. Fox, you are indeed a worthy foe. But your foolish efforts are futile. <laughs> Alright, just focus on dodging the uh, indoor traps here. This part's this part always gives me a hard time right here. Because I'm always yeah, I'm always flying into the walls and I'll fly into those a lot. Yeah, I just picked up another twin twin blasters if you need it. Your ur wings have no chance against me. Yeah, I'm such a great voice actor. I could do Andros. I could voice him. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna be shooting out his eyes. And he'll shoot his uh, squares at you. I don't know. The, the game calls it telekinesis, so... I don't know. I'm gonna shoot him up his nose, give him a cold. So it kind of looks like I'm shooting snowballs. I'm gonna wait for his eyes to turn blue again. The maxed out twin blasters really make this fight pretty easy. Alright, that's one eye gone. Let's suck us in again. Here's a bomb for you, man. Oh, he spat it out. Did you see that? <laughs> He's like, yuck. I don't want that, man. I don't want that. And 64, he'll actually suck you in if you don't bomb him. Oh, it looks like he's sleeping. All right. There's the brain. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. And that's it. See ya, Andros. Now it's time to get out of this freaky psychedelic place. Will he make it? Will he? Will he make it? Oh, will he make it? Boost. Oh, he made it. Was there ever any doubt? Ever any doubt that old Star Fox team would get out of here? Just no doubt at all. And we're triumphantly flying back to Corn Area to receive our pay. So I imagine that's exactly what they're wanting. At the end of Star Fox 64, you get your bill. Well, General Pepper gets his bill, and he's like, What? If you do really good, and it's really expensive, it's funny. <laughs> oh, right on. This game is so great. I love this uh, cinematic shot of the you know, 360 flying over the planet. 
Uh, just, it's so fun. I, I never get tired of this game. I can pop it in anytime. Anytime. All right, stage one, 99%. Stage two, 100%. Stage three, 96%. Stage four, 100%. Stage five, 100 percent. Stage six, 100 percent. Right on. I'm like an A plus student in Star Fox Land. That's what my friend called me the other day. We were just talking about how much I hate getting low scores on this game because I'm such a such a boob sometimes. <laughs> Average score only 99 percent. Yeah, who cares about scores anymore? No, just me, I guess. This is Cornelia, Pepper speaking. Congratulations on a job well done. Roger. Roger, I'm heading back to Cornelia. <laughs> Makes me wonder why they couldn't just, you know, record the voices all like that. But you know, it's got a, it's got a very big charm. The uh, animal voices. All right, boss roll call. Here we have the attack carrier, the missile blaster weapon. Yeah, he didn't last long. And we got the Rock Crusher. I think its attack is lasers. Rock Crusher. Yeah, laser. And the size, I, I don't even know if that's feet or what. I, I'm assuming it is. Alright, the Dancing Candy Cane weapon. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. It's not. It's the Atomic Base. Weapons, lasers. Why not just say big glowing balls of death? Because that's what it shoots at you. Unless those are called lasers, too. Alright. The Dancing Insector. I always love the name of this guy. Probably my favorite boss on Route 1. Fire Blaster. Yeah, that's for sure. Not my favorite one to fight, but my favorite one to look at. <laughs> Alright. Fantron. Fantron Menace. Weapons Laser. And we get to the better part of Fantron, his true self. Oh, always be you, man. Don't don't change for anybody. <laughs> Flippin'. Fantron. Weapons Laser. Shoots a lot of them. And last but not least, we have Andros. Andros, attack, shredded wheat, shreddies. No. Andros, attack, telekinesis, size. Whatever, you know, I'm surprised they didn't just go question mark, question mark, like they do in lots of games for the last guy. They don't know the static, you know, like the things about them. Oh, what a classic. What a, what a, what a, what a, what a classic. The ex, uh, the late president of Nintendo before uh, Satoru Iwata. There's Mr. Miyamoto. We all love him. Thank you, Mr. Miyamoto. And you, I thank you so much for directing this wonderful, wonderful game. And you too, Mr. Assistant Director. I'm sorry, I'm just not going to try and say these names unless I know them. Release Star Fox 2, Dylan. Release it. We know you have the finished one. Get everything in order, get your house cleaned, and release that thing. <laughs> It'll never happen. But fortunately, we got a pretty much complete ROM of it. So, uh, maybe I'll do that one day. Let me know if you want to see it. I'll do it. I do have the cartridge of it, so we can play it on Super Nintendo. And, yeah. There's Mr. Koji Kondo, the soundtrack of my childhood, right there. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed Route 1. I will be doing Route 2, so stay tuned for that. I don't even know if Argonaut Software is still a thing. I don't think it is. Ben Cheese. <laughs> that, that always made me laugh. I don't know why. Cheese, I guess. Ben's Cheese. Uncle Ben's cheese. Uncle Ben's cheesy rice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm lame. 
and uh, anything else you might want to suggest uh, that I do, I'd be happy to tell you if I have the cartridge or not. And if I don't, you know, I'm sorry. I just won't do it. If it's on an emulator, I just, I just won't play it. So I'll let you know if I have it, and then maybe we can uh, see about doing that. Who knows? Depends how many people see it. Alright, so we're coming up to the end of that. The end. Da, 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 da. My total score, 99%. Thank you for watching.